Well, good morning and welcome back. It is time for today's social wire. Well, does anyone else have Olympic fever? I know I do. And the opening ceremony for the 2012 Summer Olympic Games are set to begin this Friday in London. Get your DVR set. Hundreds of thousands of people from around the world are already swarming the streets, which is very exciting for the tourists. But, uh, ooh, not so much for the residents. One London company called Maiden looked at various difficulties that the Olympics bring and decided to take out their frustration on the Americans who are coming to spend their money in their town. Take a look at your screen. Now, I know it's a little squish, but what it reads on the tote bag is, quote, I'm renting my flat to a fat American family. Ooh. Ouch. Well, the bag is part of a series of items meant to commemorate the games with some humor. The other bags read, quote, it only took me three hours to get to work this morning. And, quote, they're all on steroids. We can relate. Well, hey, anytime you see those multicolored rings, you automatically know they're referring to the Olympics. Well, a brand army is mobilized in London and has been on the lookout for everything from retailers misusing the Olympic rings to Pepsi swag in a Coca-Cola event. However, take a look at this storefront. Focus Formal Wear in Subatim did this best to mock those rules, and so far, he's been getting away with it. Now, can you tell? London 2012 Olympics is completely misspelled, and instead of rings for the Olympic logo, he uses squares. Now, Holt said the inspiration for the window arrived in an email a few years ago. It was a brain teaser. Each paragraph had words in which a few letters were switched around, and the mind was tricked into reading it correctly. I'm glad they do have a very nice sense of humor. And that's a look at what's buzzing on KITV for Social Wire. My Helani, I know me, you, and Mawani and Ryan getting very excited for Friday. Oh, yeah. And you know what's great? You can look back at all the great Olympic moments on YouTube and other social media these days. Oh, yes. My favorite, 1996, which is, I think it's the top, according to a lot of fans. 1996, Carrie Strug. Of course. Hopping to her win with Who her Who could forget that ankle. moment? Oh, my gosh. I love so gymnastics. Touching. Don't you, too? I love gymnastics. love diving. I love swimming. You know, track and field's another big one. Mm -hmm. But I did hear one of the biggest crowds will be beach volleyball. Oh, for yeah. For obvious reasons. <laughs> However, I heard that the weather report, it's uh, been pretty cold over there. So... Um, they might not be donning those two-piece bikinis. Oh, yeah. They might be wearing a one-piece swimsuit. It or maybe is like a body after suit. all. Yes. You know. Well, what's uh, our forecast on our traffic map right now? Well, let's take a look at that right now. Those uh, travel times are in, and it's still looking pretty good. If you are coming into town over from the west side, about 39 minutes, so out from Kapolei, and uh, looks like 45 in from Eva Beach. So let's take a live look at those cameras.